What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care as we are now playing as Sonic in his final redemption moment. It is the final rush. It is his final chance to beat Eggman back. He's got the fake Chaos Emerald. He needs to put it into the cannon while Eggman doesn't know he's there and destroy his entire plans. Now a fun little fact. Ooh. Is a, this is a slightly different recording session. I think actually I said I was gonna get food last time. No, uh, no, I already did that and then had a break. Never mind. This is another recording session, just last minute, and I've actually already done this entire video. Unfortunately, I had a couple of audio. Well, no, not audio issues. In fact, no, they were all visual. This is new. I had a couple of issues in the whole recording system. First things first was my settings had it so that the whole place, the whole thing looked really bitty. The so set my uh, live stream settings on to it looked really gross. But also, on top of that, halfway through the video, my whole screen recording wise, at least, ended up like moving across, stuck to my mouse, and then it was like you could only see a tiny corner of the whole screen. And it was kind of sad because it was the whole ending of the hero's story, but oh well, so we're doing it again. Which, any if anything, is a good thing just because you get to see me play a whole lot better. I had a ton of trouble recording this half an hour ago. I might actually, I do still have the footage, so maybe I'll use, like, maybe I'll intersperse it like my old practice file uh, let's plays like the clips. We'll see how it goes, but for now, let's just make our way through and hopefully get through this with very little trouble. I'm not going to bother with those 20 rings over there because I've already done it in the past. Ha ha! Now, with this section of the uh, map, um, I would say it's kind of nice, although, uh, actually, judging by how I went last time, maybe not so much. The, uh, well, it's not here. The railings that go directly up, you can light speed dash into them because of our rings sometimes, or you can homing attack. I usually homing attack because I find it's a lot more reliable, but hey, don't take my word for it. Test things out yourself. The middle path is the safe one, but I actually found that out by pure luck last time, so thank you. Take you on the upper path, otherwise I think you'd have to dodge some debris, which is fair enough. Or not, maybe just push you on the lower path. So you will be seeing debris no matter what later on, so I guess we'll find out, but okay. I've got to be super careful here. If you homing attack while on it, it just doesn't latch on and you fall to your death. I'm, I'm so experienced with this level right now. Um, and actually, as a kid, again, I don't really have any major um, stories that go with this level, just that I played it as a kid and I enjoyed it, but never really went back to it. I think I mostly went back to City Escape and Metal Harbor when I wanted to do Chow stuff. So there you go, that's about all the history I have with this level. Let us make our way through. This might be a, yeah, I guess this will be like a way quicker ending, because last time it took me 20 minutes of recording time to finish this level, on top of setting it up, which took me a little while as well. And then even longer doing the boss battle afterwards. Just because I'm bad and the port is a bit iffy on me, but hey, we'll come to that when we come to that for now. I'm making a good time. At least it feels like it to me. These guys don't attack back, so hey, I'm just going to ignore the guys. Don't mind me. Oh, they do. Wow, they're just not very uh, perceptive, I guess. Not very active. I don't know the word I'm trying to use, but let's get going. I never get that chow container. There are three, I think, in this level. There was one earlier at the beginning if you go to the left railing, but I only found it by luck the first time, and that was about it. Ooh, thank you. Uh, don't bounce here, by the way. You might think you should. Yeah, don't. Okay. Now, also, I had a lot of good luck in my let's... Well, there it goes. There it goes. Ah, I had a lot, in my, lot of luck in my let's play in this section because I always got onto the highest path with the fastest railings, and I really liked it. Whoa! That makes me feel cool. Oh, and it lines up perfectly. Never did that before, but yeah. Also, if you jump at the end of the railings, you get extra little boosty things like the ramps from City Escape. I didn't actually know that until today, so that was fun to find out. You never seem to get to that spring the first time, but it lets you the second time. Maybe you can do it in one go, but I've never actually succeeded. Right, blue path it is. It's the path I've always taken, but I trust it, so I'll go with it. There is, oh yes, another upgrade in this level that allowed you to do some mystical things, but I don't know where it is, so I'm not going to grab it. Oh well. Excuse me, it'll be a thing of the future. Whoa! That was my controller. I looked, I pushed it up and a tiny bit to the right, and it just went crazy. Pro tip in this level, uh, don't control, don't move the control stick if you don't need to. It honestly saves you a lot of hassle. Alright, time for fast stuff. Whee! And here's the part where I can get the highest path every time, even though I jank on the wall a little bit. There we go, onto that railing. Yes, and then jump. Bounce, jump. I'm not going to bounce on this guy, just in case I die. There we go. And then it gets to be super fast, gets to be super height. Yes, look at that, perfect. I love it. And this is the end, already. Wow, 
I mean, it's been four minutes, but still. Right, last time I took middle and the right. Let's try the left. Maybe it is safe. Might just be more debris. It is more debris. Oh, I didn't know I could bounce across this. Yeah, you can see all the paths down there. It's just like the, the truck from City Escape. Just hold down and hope your controller doesn't make you wean to the side really crazily or make you get touching the wall. Make touching the wall, sure. And goal. The easiest one I've ever had in the last hour. Yes! Whew. Barely made it. But I don't know exactly where it is. If I find it, I'll grab it. But otherwise, I apologize if I don't. As I've said before, this is not a 100% run. It's just me having fun. Ah, uh, speaking of, there's, there's the fun. Death Fiery Ball. Let's try this again now. If you didn't know already, the bomb item makes you go through railings. Ah, oh, man, I could have gotten to that one too. Um, that was a complete accident, and of course I'm not back here. But no, the bomb rain, the bomb item will destroy any I enemies nearby. I feel it's pretty self-explanatory. And I'm dead again. All right. Ah, pro tip again, Sonic game. Don't press the control stick. I'm not good at this apparently. Let's make movements, shall we? Can I get to the blue railing? No. All right, I'm gonna stop making uh, making risks now, and let's just get on with this, shall we? Ooh, okay, what's this? Bouncing time. No! Nope. Wow, that is perfect luck. And we're right back to the beginning. I bounced through the railing and then through the gap in the platforms. That's terrible luck. Let's try this again. The later Sonic levels really kick me, don't they? Huh. Yep, they really do. Can I do it? Can I do it? No, I can't. Can I get down there? Oh my god, there's this! And it's not killing- No, it is killing me. But it's giving me the angle on it. That's- that was weird. Okay. Oh no, that was not at all what we needed. Okay, let's- No, no, that's the death plane. Oh my god, I'm so bad. But now I'm past the death plane. But it's not gonna help me. Because I jump as I'm going somewhere. I think that's my issue. Yes. No, Sonic, don't shout yes then. Well, unless you can get this right. Oh, please, no. Alright, light speed dashing is really not a good idea in some places. And Nebra's homing attack. I need to stop doing that straight into the wall. This is a big room and I got stuck. Oh wow, really? I was holding down control thing. Alright, well at least we made this is the further point. This is where I started last time? No it's not. It's a bit ahead. Okay. It's taken me 20 minutes just to do this level and get it started. Yep. Barely yep, made barely it. made it. But hey, I got a chow key. Not that you'll see it this episode. Oh, it's gonna put me through all of them. This game of tag is boring. <sighs> the things I have to do to fight Shadow again. Uh, well, I'll be back in a moment. Here we go, I've done so much, it didn't even play the cutscene. I'm trying to get it to play the cutscene. All that effort, okay, never mind. Uh, from the looks of things then, looks like I have to do 
Final rush again, and then it'll put me in the right place. Huh. It's been 22 minutes. I'm right back at the beginning again. And I suck at this level. Oh, what an ending to that one. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I don't want to go off the edge of the map, but it feels like I'm going to be. Oh my god, I just landed on it. Whoo! Yes! Finally! Right! Ready to move on, are we? Because I got none of the 524 rings. Barely made it. I still got a knee. I got a knee last time. Yes! Okay! Let's go! You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in space. You know, space. what can I say? I die hard. You actually saved me, you know. It was a Chaos Emerald, wasn't it? But there's no way you could have activated the Chaos Control using an emerald that's fake. So, there's more to you than just looking like it. What are you, anyway? What you say is what you get. Just a guy that loves adventure. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! I see. But you know, I can't let you live. Your adventure days are coming to an end. As a kid, I loved this cutscene, recreated it in the playground, with me and a friend getting faster and faster. Alright, now actually defeating the guy, at least in this port, with a Steam controller on Steam, is a whole trial on its own. There are multiple ways you can hurt Shadow, and they get harder and harder as you go along. The main one is jumping his back, though apparently even on his first phase he doesn't want to allow it anymore. You can also spin dash or have him just walk into your spin dash, it's never actually worked before, I might try that in the future. But the biggest one that seems to be the most effective, at least for the GameCube version, was using the light speed dash. Do that through the rings, heal dollies, well, it spawns in the right spot, and then you can light dash right through him and do damage. I only managed to make him do that once last time, which to be fair, I made him do it once, which is pretty good, because it can happen. But, uh... It, it was really iffy. It was almost like he had invincibility frames when he first came back for a while, but oh well. We've actually already gone down to half health, so maybe it's just a nice bit of luck. But you can also see kind of how janky- oh my god, we got it! How janky my controls are by how I'm trying to get Sonic into the rings. Like, I'm not controlling him weirdly. He just controls weirdly with this controller. Maybe it's a delay or something. Like, I can't turn smoothly. So, oh well. I'm not going to get a light speed dash on the one ring, no, of course not. Alright, let's try this. Nope, you're going to jump over it, but you're going to teleport the moment you go off screen. Alright. I'm going to try to just, um, try and get in front of him first. Alright, I'll let him hit me, that works too. No, nope, he's gone. Every time he says this is the ultimate, which I, and whatever else he's supposed to say afterwards that he never actually does, is when he's teleported away. So obviously you can't do anything at that point, and we can just do that instead with Shadow perfectly running away. Let's try again. Alright, oh, so now that we've lost health... Oh, I didn't know that actually. Thank you, I'm a child and I paid attention. What I found last time is now that I've died, he'll actually use his Chaos Spear. Why it takes a death, I have no idea, but that seems to be the case. All we need to do really is keep moving, but apparently a somersault works too. That's also your prime time to attack him, since he likes to freeze when he's actually done an attack. Walk into me. Nope. Ooh, cool, cool. Oh, wow, homing attack, really? Oh, no! No! I have to do Final Rush again! <laughs> For the fourth time! You're kidding me! Oh, I hate this finale.
This is terrible. Okay, buddy. Please tell me I have multiple. I only have two. Great. All right. I had trouble. Honestly, I think I've said all I can to say about the thing. Like, I mentioned my childhood of recreating the cutscenes. I've told you how to play the guy. And I've told you how the port is a little bit ishy. And you can, you've been able to see it in your own eyes anyway. So, in your own eyes, not with your own eyes. Uh, so at this point, I'm just probably going to play it as cautiously as I can. Make my way. Yeah, it's definitely the music that makes me think it's uh, the doorbell, because I'm hearing it only here. Which is kind of good and kind of bad. I don't know, there's like a ringing sound somewhere in it that I never noticed before. Also, you can see him sparkle away when he's teleporting, but you never really see it because he's usually behind you when it happens. Though I did see it earlier, so I might show that in a little clip where he fell off the edge and then clearly sparkled away. Oh, that would have been it. That could have been it. How did that... Ow. Here we go. Nope, that's just hurting me. So close. I just didn't have the rings. I didn't trust myself. Could have also been it. Yes. One more. One more. One more. He got that first. I'm kind of trying to get him to jump so that I can get him in the middle of the rings, but it's not quite working, is it? Nope. He's just a little too far. Come on. Oh, that could have been it if I only like defended myself a little bit. Okay, now we're screwed. Oh. Okay, we're good. Oh, he's also got an extra life because of all those hundred rings, thank goodness. Please, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle. Damn, too late. He showed up too late, I mean. Middle, 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 middle. No, no. Here. Yes! B! Oh, I didn't get him. For some reason. Maybe he was just out of the ring's reach. Here we go. B! That just hurt me for some reason. Great. Gosh, if only you could see my thumb, like, fighting the control stick to get a movement out of it. It's like, it's, it's too unsensitive and too sensitive. I can't get the... Like, I have to put a lot of effort in to make it move, and then it moves too much. But more than I would have put in, even if I did go as much as I put in. Like, I'm really, like, my thumb is just constantly shaking against the control stick to get it to go. Right, here it is. B! Uh, somehow not. No, nope, not that one. But I'll take an extra life. I'll take all the lives I can get. Oh, yes! Ooh. Thank goodness! Hopefully it will show the ending scene as well. If not, I'm gonna flip. Ooh, we're good! We're good! Sonic! I did it! There we go, that is the proper ending, finally, of the hero story in Sonic Adventure 2. Battle or no, it doesn't matter. And at this point, I'm actually going to cut to 
the beginning of this recording session, or my last one even, so that I can do my proper thoughts on the credits, though there wasn't really much to it. Here we go. It'll it'll move in a minute, don't worry. Let's go. And the whole thing... Oh, no. It was stuck to my mouse? That's weird. I'm hoping that was recent. If not, I'll have to redo this episode, and I'll gladly do it. But still, if that's, a sh if that's the case... Oops! I guess if this is the only way you can see the credits, here it is. It cuts in really weirdly with it not being visible. Oh man, I don't know. It all happened because I clicked in the middle of the boss fight. That's That would be the funny if that's the case. Or it's the whole video. I'll find it out in a minute. But yes, that is the hero story of Sonic Adventure 2. Battle or no. I quite like it. I, as I said, I, I don't really have much to say on reminiscing about it because I know this game so well that it was just, it was just a good time. I really enjoy playing the game. Um, I imagine by the time this comes out, I would have even released a review about it, and like, there's just so much going on. You probably know all my thoughts about it anyway. Any way? Anyway, it was a nice, fun experience. And yeah, I just had to check my audio was actually still playing, because also my uh, Adobe Audition is crushed up on my screen, so everything's just gone a little haywire at the end. But that's the way things go, sure. But no, it was a nice little experience. We'll be doing more of the Dark Story as well, so hopefully you'll be in tune for that soon. But no, yeah, good times. I like it. The game's still pretty good to me. It's This was definitely the jankiest experience I've had, though. I've heard this port, this Steam port, is pretty bad. So maybe that's the reasoning why. Um, for the most part, though, it was alright. Like, I didn't really have to fight the camera too much, mostly because I was trying not to. It was mostly those Sonic levels at the end that were sort of kicking me a little bit where I wasn't expecting to be. Also, good job with that face on Amy there. But nah, no, I like it. It's all good. Um, Sega Ninja Team. That sounds cool. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Hope you enjoyed. Maybe you learned something new. As I said, we didn't get all the uh, upgrades, unfortunately. They're not majorly important. And although, now that we do have certain upgrades like the uh, Flame Ring for Sonic, we can actually access other upgrades in earlier places, like there's boxes on the floor, or in the ground in City Escape that gets you another upgrade, and uh, Knuckles can dig somewhere in the first world, the first level of his, to get another thing, as I remember correctly. And at the end of Tails' level, what a, the prison one, where I was like, oh, we can't go through there yet, there's an upgrade on the other side of those. So if you want to do it yourself and find those upgrades and play with those, then that is an option for you. But I'm not going to go there. Instead. Let's move on to the dark story. Hmm? Eggman steals the research from a military base located on an island to the south. The military's top secret weapon, Shadow. Sealed in the Space Colony Park, the Seven Chaos Emerald. When all of the keys have been collected, World Conquest will be at hand. Sonic Adventure 2, The Dark Side Story. Long live the Eggman Empire.